Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to conduct a lab in a fashion that's a little different from the way that most labs should and would be conducted. We are going to take a big piece of chicken and we're going to break that thing down here on my cutting board and we're going to examine the internal musculature of that organism based off of that big old piece of chicken. And then, well, frankly, I'm gonna cook it up and have it for dinner. Uh, so, with that in mind, let's get started, shall we? First and foremost, what I have here are leg quarters. This is the best I could find, uh, given my constraints of where my location is. So what I did is I bought some leg quarters, one, two, three, four. I only need one of these, but hey, you know what? Five sixty-five for all of them. That's not a bad price considering that this is a whole meal for a family in the grand scheme of things. So I'm going to open this thing up, grab a nice leg quarter, and get my knife good and sharp, and then we're going to start breaking these things down. All right, team. <clears throat> what we have here is a nice chicken quarter. And on this, I can take it and I can flip it over and we can see the backside. You can see nice skin here. You can feel the skin and the texture of it therein. Like it's got a, uh, it, it's not unlike yours. And underneath you can feel there's, there's padding, there's cushion, if you will. Uh, you know that there is something connecting and holding this down. In fact, you can somewhat see through to the underlying musculature and I can move the skin around, as you see there move the skin around and you can see the ligamentation underneath uh, on this particular piece of chicken. Now, I can flip this over. You can see meat here. You can see some adipose tissue. Now, adipose tissue is fat. That's what that is right there. All of that, that is all adipose, all right? And when I do this, I want you to listen. Listen to it. You hear the tearing? That, that is underlying connective tissue, all right? So this is probably some fascia in all the, uh, likelihood, which is lining these muscular groups, that's fascia, and it's going to assist in sort of covering and protecting these muscles, helping to hold them together. All right, I can pull part, you can see some rib here, I can pull this part, you can see the fat, you can see the fascia, all right, so that's what we're dealing with here. I can pull this apart, there's a piece of, there's a nice piece of muscle there, again, there's fat and fascia, you can see all of these are individual muscles, okay? Here's one, there's some, there's one inside of there. Again, this is not unlike your musculature, the way that your leg is set up. Here, let's see if we can get some of this off of there. Don't be afraid to use your hands, folks. Uh, this is not unlike the way that your leg is also set up. So you have the same basic quadriceps muscles as you can see here. Let's see if we can get some of that fat off of there. Okay, adipose tissue, fat. You can see inside of this, your muscles are set up in the exact same fashion. All right, very similar, very similar indeed. All right, now, now I think it's important to point out here that there's not a lot of blood in this chicken. Like you can see a little bit of blood there, not much, but a little bit of blood. The blood has been drained out because it would uh, augment the flavor of the chicken and make it not particularly taste well. The reason that these muscles are dark in color is probably because it contains large amounts of myoglobin, uh, which is an oxygen storing protein in musculature. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just taking the skin right off of that chicken. All right, taking the skin right on off. You can hear the connective tissue tearing. Use my knife here and just tease this back a little bit. Well, I'm trying to at least. There we go. All right, tease that back a little bit and we'll just take all this right on off. All this connected tissue, right? All that connected tissue. Now we're getting somewhere. You can see how I use my hand. It just helps me kind of tease back the connective tissue. So there's the skin. All right, there it is. If you look at this, can you see the blood vessels in there? All right. So there is the actual external covering of the skin. And here's the underside of it. You can see those blood vessels. There they are. Clear as day, you can see the blood vessels. Check this out. Uh, what I have, or what I can do, I should say, is I can come down here to the base of the leg, right where I've got all this tissue sort of pulled back to, I can get all this back, and you can see, as I get this fascia off of there, 
you can see that there are areas of this musculature which are kind of a darkish color, if you will. Okay, this is what muscle looks like when there's no blood in it in this particular animal. But then as you follow this down, can you see how it becomes silvery, right? It becomes quite silver down near the base of this. What we have here is a muscle connected to bone up at the top of this via direct connection, a fleshy attachment. But then coming down, 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 down to a point where it terminates in a tendon. So I can actually take my knife, come in there, and I can pick that tendon up. And I can cut it just like that. And you can look at it on the end. Observe. Let's see if we can peel this muscle back. Yeah, there it goes. Can you see how this opens right on up with my hands? So I can take my knife, I can come in here and cut the connective tissue. And this muscle can be reflected back. See that? So what I have here is a single muscle of the leg having a fleshy attachment at the top. You can see there is a bone right there and it's got muscle connected to the bone right underneath the skin. All right, there is no tendon per se there. It's just muscle to bone. But then as the muscle comes down, it tapers. And as it tapers, you have lots of muscle, a little bit of connective tissue, less muscle, more connective tissue, no muscle, all connective tissue. That right there, folks, that's a tendon, all right? That is a tendon. And that tendon is very light in color because it gets very little to no blood flow. Yeah, let's see if we can clear it off a little bit better here. Look how silver that is. Can you see it? Look how silver that is. The reason it's so silver is because that is almost exclusively collagen fiber. It's dense, regular connective tissue. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? How pretty is that? Oh my gosh. All collagen fiber, with all those collagen fibers running in the same direction, lending to this having extraordinary strength. Look at that. Look how silver. All right. So this is a tendon on a muscle that is an indirect attachment. And up here, you can see that this is a direct or fleshy attachment. And uh, when you look at this, you got muscles all over the place, all right? There's one that I can just pull back and reflect. Like there's a solitary piece of muscle, same story, uh, that would have had a tendon at the bottom, which I've already cut. I guess I cut it by accident when I did the last one, or perhaps it was already cut in other uh, means when they cut the leg off here. But you can see it coming down and tapering to a point where there is a tendon. There it is, right there. So there's the tendon. When that muscle flexes, it would pull that tendon. That would probably make the leg move, all right? All right, now look at this. What we have here is cartilage, okay? That's hyaline cartilage in the knee. And let's see, I wonder if we can get into the actual knee on this thing. I'm gonna go get some better light too. Hold that thought. Okay, you can see sort of how this joint would articulate. And if I kind of tease off some of the musculature on top of this, And look at the connective tissue, right? See how they're all connected to one another? Look at that. So that connective tissue would be carrying blood vessels into this muscle, all right? So we're teasing off a little bit of musculature, taking some things down. Uh, but what you can do is you can really feel that synovial joint in that knee, all right? It's a smooth sensation inside of there. You can pinch it. You can feel it almost separate. So that's where we're going. We're going to get into that cavity. Uh, but to do that, I'm going to take off a little bit of extra muscle. All right, you can see down here at the bottom, this would be like your ankle. So this is like your gastrocnemius muscle here. I can come in and I can use my hands and I can tease it up and you can see that fascia clear as day. I can cut through that with great ease and reflect it back. And we can come all the way down here to this big tendon at the base of the leg. So let's just go ahead and cut that off of there. Oh, can you hear how hard that is to cut? Now look at it. See how light in coloration? That's because there's very little to no blood flow here. These are tendons. These are tendons. And remember, 
tendons are muscle to bone. There it is, okay? Here we have our muscle, nice and silver, coming down, terminating at a tendon, and then up at the top here, connecting. This one actually might have a tendon in that, on it as well. Now that, I don't know, it's hard to say. I would say that's definitely the tendon for this muscle. Let's cut that right on off there, see if we can take it out. Yep, there it goes. So, what you can see here is, here's a single muscle. This is like, a, think of that, this like a bicep or something like that. What you have is tendon there and tendon down here. When this muscle contracts, it's going to shorten and pull these closer together. You can see it. Look how the fibers radiate out from their point of attachment. You see this, how silvery it is? All right, they radiate out in this fashion to lead this muscle to have the ability to squeeze and or pull together to contract, to shorten while attaching to bone like a fulcrum. All right. All right, let's keep working our way into this joint cavity, shall we? Again, I can just kind of come in here. I don't want to cut the ligamentation of the knee at this stage because I want you to see it. So I'm taking my time as I go through this. Look at that tendon right there. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So you've got this big, long tendon attached to a little bitty muscle. Okay. These are not unlike the muscles that guide your fingers that are down here in your lower arm. All right, so it's a little bitty muscle with a big long tendon. That's an indirect muscular attachment point. Yeah. There we go. Now look at this. So what we have here is a nice knee joint. All right. You can see inside of there. Let's see what we can get out of this. And we just don't have as much of it as I'd like to have. But that's nice cartilage there and I can see some ligamentation inside of this as well Let's see if we can really get it open I'm gonna probably have to take the whole thing apart I'm just resigning myself to the fact that that's our reality at this stage right there that's perfect right there is a ligament on this knee that is a collateral ligament like this would be either a lateral collateral or a medial collateral ligament. You can see it plain as day. Watch this. I can take my knife, put it underneath. That is what the ligamentation in your knee looks like, right there. You can see it. You can feel it. You can touch it. That's how it feels. That's This is a real knee. You can see inside of this knee cavity itself, there are more ligaments in there to notice. Let's see if we can get a little bit off of here. That's probably an anterior collateral, or I'm sorry, an ACL, anterior cruciate ligament. I'm just going to keep taking this kneecap out of there. Hopefully. <laughs> but you can see here's some more ligamentation. Look right there. There's a ligament. All right, that's connecting bone to bone. It's holding that knee together, just like that here is. So right now I can pull on this and twist it and turn it, and nothing's happening. But if I cut that ligament, the knee opens up. Can you see inside of there now? Can you see the ligaments inside? Again, I can come in here. I can cut the ligament. There's a ligament right there. Can you see it? Okay, I can cut that ligament, and the knee opens up. Another ligament right there. See the ligament right here? I can cut it. There's another one right there. Cut it, hopefully. Again, these are like pure collagen, so they're very, very strong. There we go. And I can take that knee apart, just like that. All right, that's pretty good. I was hoping I could show you some meniscus inside of this. I'm struggling to see it at this stage. Let's just get this completely separated. It's hard to make it out, but that's meniscus right there. All right. So you can see the discs. Hang on. Yeah, there's just not a whole lot of do in here. Uh, but good cartilage. Feel the cartilage. 
Feel how it compresses. Feel how it covers the bone. This is not unlike your cartilage. Feel how smooth it is, all right? But the meniscus would be laying right on top of that. This is not very good on this particular piece, but that's meniscus right there. I can squeeze it. That's fibrocartilage. Without any question. Yeah. Not bad. Look at how that joint articulates down here at the bottom of the foot. Pretty neat stuff. All right, and I tell you what, team, that's pretty close to what we need. Um, I'm pretty happy. So what you can do is you can fillet the mu uh, meat off of this, or <laughs> uh, just take it and cook it up as it lays, and you can use this as a meal and enjoy yourself. All right, just dig through it. You know, use your hands and uh, feel how that muscle feels. You know, look at look at these blood vessels and nerves. That's what all this is. These are blood vessels. These are nerves. Uh, they're macro. You can see them. They're visible to the naked eye. This is all, this is not unlike the way that your musculature is made. And I might be able to, well, no, I'm not going to hurt myself. Don't, don't injure yourself trying to break these bones open, but you can see inside of them and uh, find bone marrow as well. So you can see a nice bone there. Got your uh, distal epiphysis and proximal epiphysis, diaphysis in the middle. Yeah, man. And that's how this is done. All right, uh, folks, I, I hope you get something out of this. Hope you enjoy it. I just, you need to learn. You need to feel these muscles, know what they're like. And uh, that should be a step in the right direction. All right, thanks, guys. Have a good one.